Greetings, Frogman here. Got a request to do a infrared photo effect in Photoshop. This will be my first tutorial. Pretty cool effect. As you know, some of you may know, uh, cameras, you can get little infrared photo filters and they make these weird contrasty pictures with all kinds of muted colors and just really cool effect and you can kind of fake it in Photoshop there's a bunch of different ways to do it a um, bunch of different styles but uh, I'll show you a real easy one here okay to start you need a picture with a good foreground and background nice detail um, landscapes are best so we got our canyon layer here and what we're gonna do is above that we're gonna create a fill or adjustment layer um, so it's the little yin yang thing down here at your layers palette and just go to a uh, channel mixer and first thing we want to do is check monochrome and uh, then we're gonna have to do some tweaking and this isn't going to be an exact science you kind of have to play with it but um, first thing you do is turn the green all the way up and you're like whoa and that's uh, like a nuclear explosion or something and then turn the red down and then turn the blue down until we start getting that and I found for this photo in particular if I set the red at about 30 and the blue at about 100 minus 100 minus 30 um, gets pretty much the black and white infrared effect basically you want to make like if you have a blue sky you want it to turn black um, so and that's what we've done here and as far as like making a black and white infrared photo we have pretty much mission accomplished but uh, we want to do something a little more we want color in here so to do that Go back to your original canyon layer, whatever you, photo you chose. Right click, duplicate layer. And we want to move it on top. And I'm going to sneeze. Hey. Okay, no, no, I'm not. I held it in for you guys. Save your ears. All right, so we've got the la duplicate layer on top. We want to go into our um, layers. Uh, I forgot what you call these. Uh, blending modes. <laughs> blending modes box. And we want to choose overlay. And already, I mean, look at that. That is really cool looking. And uh, next thing we want to do is uh, we want to increase the contrast a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and go to image adjustments and levels and I'm just gonna you got the black slider the gray slider white slider I'm gonna move the black up some and then I'm gonna move the white up some and if I turn it off and on see we just increased the contrast a little bit brought out the detail in these background mountains and uh, just gave it a more bold effect and another thing you might want to play with is the opacity of the top layer. Just kind of move it down and up and see if you get a different effect. Um, another thing you might want is to do Terminator Vision. And that's pretty simple too. Go back down to our little yin yang thing. Choose solid color. Pick a nice red. Not really really red but let's you know uh, somewhat darker red like I have here and uh, we're gonna go into our blending modes box again and we're gonna set it to color and this is a little too bright and glowy so we're gonna turn down the opacity here just a bit and there we go we got kind of like terminator vision and then you can even add that uh, top layer it gives you even weirder effect 
So the main thing is just to keep playing around, um, especially with blending modes. Um, I mean, different blending modes can make your make a completely different picture. Um, I mean, you can do all kinds of really neat things. Um, another thing you might want to try doing is uh, inverting that top in it image. Image adjustments, invert. Maybe turn off the red one. And now it looks like an alien planet or something. Let me turn down the opacity a bit. Or turn it up. Um, I mean, there, the possibilities are endless. So that is the infrared photo effect. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Have a good day.